Hey, this is Meat Rider Aqua Teen Hunger Force, and I'm talking in my all things considered voice. And this is Day Trotter on the internet, on the computer. I sure hope I don't have to beat your ass this Christmas. I hope I don't have to lay the hammer down. You know I will. I wish peace around the world mm, for every boy and girl. But you, I leave face down in Chinatown. Me so sorry. I sure hope you ain't gonna beat my ass this Christmas I think I've been a pretty good boy this year I made you something nice I specifically requested Old Spice And if it's your homemade aftershave I will whoop your rear Christmas is about forgiveness. No, it is about toys, and your constant excuses make me so friggin' pissed. You know they do. There's a reason for the season. Here's a gift that ain't on your list for taste from the mighty yellow fish. You better not give me macaroni art this Christmas. So help me God, you'll be pulling back a stomp. See this mistletoe on my belt? You will smell what I just dealt. As I force your lips to press my fat white rum. I really hope that you don't beat my ass this Christmas. Well, I really hope that you spent a decent amount on me. Because if I could start blame, i roast your chestnuts on an open flame. But just remember, it's the thought that counts. Christmas is about forgiveness. Forgiveness does not turn chicks on like Old Spice shower gel. But there's a reason for the season. Oh, I'll ring your jingle bells. I'll swatch your hiney to the depths of her deepest head. And the devastation will be amazing when I get both hands a blazing. I'll at least shock it all when I make your buttocks raw. Do you hear what I hear? My hand about crash land on your rear. You'll be torn asunder when I call down the thunder. Here's a gift that ain't on your list. Here's a taste from the mighty yellow. This ain't no gift card, bitches. I got your damn TV set, fool. Cause Christmas is about forgiveness. I really would have preferred the plasma to the LCD. Well, there's a burning problem with the plasmas, but there's a reason for the season. Well, you know, it's 720p, which is not technically true HD. Let's hope you got me the extended Warranty! I didn't. How you doing out there on Day Trotter and the computer and the internet? Put down your porn and listen to me. Cause I got a song about the best Christmas gift of all. The one that comes from deeper in. From the nose region specifically. Santa left a booger in my stocking Santa left a smear of Christmas cheer Santa looks white and white And left me some ripe I knew I'd been a good boy this year Meet 
while someone left a booger in your stocking. But I don't think that they meant it as a gift. I really think the issue was they couldn't find a tissue, and they used your stocking as a handkerchief. Uh、uh-uh, uh, Anna, it was Santa who left a booger in my stocking. Honey, make sure it was Christmas red and green. He took his mitten off and shoved his finger up the burger trough and brought a gift down his nose to me. Meet what you leave boogers everywhere under table tops and chairs. You left Santa some snacks, three boogers and earwax. You strung boogers around the tree with bows and boogers underneath. And on the back door, by the porch, you left a boogery. Wait, is you saying I might have left a booger in my own stocking? And that's ludicrous. And that just don't make no sense. Every time I pick a winner, I make that winner dinner, and I digest all the evidence. No, it was Santa Claus left a booger in my stocking. Wait, wait, wait! Stop, stop. What in the world? It's not Santa's booger, Meatwad. It ain't. No, it's not. I'm sorry, hon. Where the hell I knew that girl? You did? Yeah, it's an elfin booger. See, elves up in the North Pole in the workshop, they grow boogers in their noses, and Santa just picks them and distributes them. He's a middleman, so let's just do the song the way I wrote it, okay? Let's not go off the reservation, all right? Oh, okay. So I guess in that case, it was Santa who left a booger in your stocking. Well, Anna, I'm glad that we could finally agree. He placed his finger inside his nose and put out a nugget of gold for me to complete my snot nativity. Santa must have had a cold, 'cause he blew out 24 karat gold for me to complete my snot nativity. Christmas. Frosty the red-nosed snowman had a very shiny nose, and if you ever saw it, it was probably a tomato or gumdrop or Twizzler or something. But he ain't never seen it. Cause he's got two eyes made out of coal, and everywhere the merry went, the lamb was sure to go. And they used to laugh and call him names, and they were playing a reindeer game. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, "Like a light bulb, Frosty, with your nose so bright." Won't you go riding a Batmobile? And there must have been some magic in that chocolate hat he done found, like a light bulb. 'Cause when they placed it on his head, won't you take me to Frosty Town? Won't you take me to Frosty Town? You go down in here, so we. Like a light bulb. Like a light bulb. Yeah. Is that when I was supposed to do it? You must have too.